Brother! Alright, let's go for a walk. Hello world. So usually when I go for a walk, I usually like put in my headphones, listen to a podcast, listen to music. But I'm gonna try creating something today. We'll see how it goes. I mean, my name's Cole, but you can call me at Avenue if you want. Time to pay the troll toll. Y'all really hate love? Hello. Random dog. Hi. Hi, gay. Ooh, we have some snow on the ground. And you were asking me a bit about what some of my health habits are. Um, I'll start with saying a physical health attribute like this, like going on a walk. Um, I go on walks fairly often and there's this really nice path that goes, it kind of starts right behind my apartment and it goes for like, I don't know, 10, 10 miles. I never walk the full thing, but I think in each walk, it's important to do something a little bit differently. To go down a path I've never went down before, push myself to go further, um, kind of look at things I've never looked at, look at the opposite side of the road, stuff like that. I always thought these swings looked kind of like diapers, and I've always thought that was kind of funny. This tree looks like it belongs in Dr. Seuss, honestly. So you're asking me about my health habits, and honestly that's something I could do a lot better on, but I think the most important thing to me is staying on top of things. like. By that I mean like keeping my room clean, keeping the refrigerator stocked with food. Um, and I think that kind of applies more to like mental clarity and mental health. But for me, like if I have all of my responsibilities and stuff in check, then I feel like I am can do things more freely. Please don't be a dead animal. Please don't be a dead animal. Okay, cool, it's not a dead animal. So, you wanted me to touch a bit on the lack of physical health in academia. And from my perspective, there's nothing to really touch on because it wasn't taught in my academics. Um, but the closest thing I can say is kind of like biology. I feel like uh, in biology, you kind of learn a lot about how the physical life kind of really works. And I feel like you can kind of apply a lot of the stuff in biology like i don't know one of my biology classes i had to take like i learned like the effects caffeine has on your body and i think that's like a a very practical real subject that should be not a subject but a really important thing to be taught i thought that art with the dude who put like paint on the dumbbell and used that to make a painting was really cool sorry how is this ball staying up that makes no sense to me now, I'm not sure if this is something I consider like a health habit, but I do think it plays an important role in my mental health, so I might touch on it, but um, I feel like having someone to talk to about um, any problems you're facing is really important. Um, for me, in my case, I can talk to Emily about a lot of the things that are stressing me out at work, and chances are she's stressed out about a lot of the same things that apply to her own situation. And just by kind of ha talking to her and having those those conversations, um, you kind of can learn that you feel like you're not alone in these problems and these, like, I don't know, the difficulty. And... But even before I had a girlfriend, uh, it's still important to talk to people, whether that be, you know, parents, whether that be a friend, whether that be a church member, whether that be a therapist. Uh, just having someone to talk to makes things a lot easier and makes it feel like you're not in it alone. And I think that's important. What's got you running like that, Mr. Duck? So I've passed about 15 people probably on my walk and there is a huge difference in the type of people I come across. Um, one of the people complimented my smile after our brief interaction and after I had walked away from that person, uh, I found myself smiling for another minute or two. And even now just thinking about it, a little happier. And then a different type of person I walked across, um, we made eye contact, I said hi, and then they chose to ignore me and look the other way. Um, be like the first person, not the second person. Um, that's all. Two roads diverged in the woods. And I took the one less traveled. And let's see where the hell it takes us. Honestly, I know where it takes us. It's just gonna cross us past the stream and there's a bench over there, but I don't wanna sit. I'm going back to this road and nothing can stop me. So, 
each year, Spotify does a Spotify wrapped. And what that is, is that's kind of your stat statistics for how you listen to music. So my question for you is what is like one area in which you would want to know what your statistics are for? So like my example would be if I knew my statistics for eating cereal, I would know what my top five cereals are. I'd know how many bowls of cereal I ate, how many gallons of milk I've went through, stuff like that. And what stats do you want to know about yourself? And maybe even what stats do you not want to know about yourself? If this video gets 30 likes, I will bring my life straw out here and take a sip of this water. So as I'm nearing the end of my walk, I'm kind of realizing that I didn't really say much, just kind of compiled a bunch of random clips of things I came across on my walk. And I'm okay with that. I had fun. But maybe I'll have more dialogue in the next one. Peace.